Hi guys, it's me, Shanks Wrestling. Sh it's Shanks Wrestling Show, and today is my Hall of Fame uh, video. Because last night it was Hall of Fame. I've just f uh, finished watching it. I skipped two, through two thing, two Hall of Famers because it weren't. They weren't. It. They. It's just. I didn't really want to bother watching them. I don't know why. I just didn't. So those people were uh, Eric the Grand. He was the uh, what? He had the Warrior War Award. He uh, he because all every year now they do a Warrior Award for like people people who are warriors and stuff. This guy was an American footballer uh, a few years ago. Then he got a uh, it really injured. Now he's in a wheelchair, so he deserves it. I think I I I don't really know the guy anyway, so I, I didn't really want to bother. But I respect for it. I got respect for him, but I just didn't really bother. The other one was the Rock and Roll Express. I haven't heard about them before uh, the person who uh, introduced them was Jim Cornette uh, I've met him before but he it just didn't they just didn't really uh, shine for me so um first I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Rick Rude I've heard of him uh, only through a uh, game like the game game uh, games on Xbox and all that and uh he's been the former WCW champion whatever champion former WCW United States champion and former W Intercontinental champion. He is a great Hall of Famer. He deserves it. Uh I haven't really watched any of his matches but I probably will do. Uh, maybe soon. Uh, number five. Uh, next, next. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying numbers. Next one is DDP, former WCW champion. Uh, once he had, he had a nasty, nasty leg broken. Leg. Uh, he broke his leg badly. Uh, if you want to see it, uh, type you in YouTube. Uh, DDP breaking his leg. I suggest not to. It, it looks nasty. But he jumped off the top rope, landed on his leg uh, uh, badly, and uh, snapped in two. Uh, former WCW champion. Uh, Mostly in WCW, really. Uh, it was the only guy who, like, first guy to uh, go against um, NWO. Uh, he deserves it. I've seen him before, like, in wrestling and stuff like that. Next one. Uh, Beth Phoenix. Uh, she was a part of my uh, kind of childhood kind of, well growing up so I'm funny just start, I only watch started watching wrestling in 2003 uh, she was part part of like I I liked kind of liked her at a time and stuff she deserves it I thought I think it's too it was too soon to give her the Hall of Fame but she she deserves it uh, there, was, there was a good bit where uh, where uh, Tony, Tony Chirrell came out because of her, uh, she's married to Edge, Radar Superstar. Tony Chirrell came out and he went, uh, re the, the, uh, he's a famous uh, announcement to Edge, the Radar Superstar, and all that. I enjoyed that, it got a little bit emotional and all that. Uh, next one was Teddy Long, he was a part of my childhood as well. Because he was the general manager for SmackDown, uh, he was he is done man like management 
managers jobs like he's managed the likes of Mark Emery and uh, Jazz and uh, tag team with uh, Farouk in it. Uh, he's, do he's done a lot. He's been a referee as well. Uh, re really respect that guy. I love I love him to bits. When he was a uh, general manager, he dessert. I, I loved him when he, he was general manager. Uh, I loved it when he was like, I'm going to put you on two on two tag team match player. And all, and all that. And it all one on one with The Undertaker. Oh, it, it was it was a great guy uh, back in the day when he was SmackDown general manager. Deserves it. I got had tears in my eyes. Because he he was just amazing. So the last person I I left the best to last. It is Kurt Angle. He definitely definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. What a guy! I have actually met him before. Uh, back in 2008 when he was signed for TNA, he was uh, he just. He came off with a loss with Simone Joe. Simone Joe was world heavyweight champion at the time, and he uh, uh, came out and he said he wanted a rematch. And it, and then they had a match the next, well, next next day, but it was it was taped for the next week. So uh, it was two tapings in two days, and one 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 taping was one week, and the next. Taping was the next week, and uh, yeah, uh, first, first, the first day I, I watched watched TNA, and I was on the camera. The next day, watched the uh, the main event, the TNA World Heavyweight Title. Kurt Angle sadly lost, but uh, me and my brother, and my sister was uh, cheering for him. We, me and my brother, looked at him. We was cheering Kurt Angle, and. He looked at us and smiled at us and all that. That was amazing. I loved it. He, he's had so many things in the, in the past that I loved about him. So that that bit when when we were shouting at his name and he was looked at us and smiled at us. That was a uh, a moment of happiness with Kangol. He was he heard us and he looked at us and he smiled at us. So that was brilliant, and he, and the day before, me and my bro was on TV, like the camera pointed at us. So I uh, I'll talk to you about it again, like another time about TNA, my experience there, and my experience on Monday Night Raw from last year. But I I had tears in my eyes with Kurt Angle. I laughed and all this stuff, but I love him. Uh, congrats to everyone who's uh, uh, who's been in the Hall of Fame this year. Um, tomorrow you'll see see my uh, NXT uh, NXT review because tonight's the NXT Takeover Orlando. Then after that we'll see the rest of it. Probably tomorrow night you'll see me uh, probably doing a video when I'm watching it or something. Hopefully I'll be there like early before the show starts, like before the pre-show. So I'll hopefully be there if I can get the time off because I'm still trying to get the time off. But I'll be I'll be still watching it. I I still got got time to get home and watch it and all that. So, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, watch other videos, please. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.